What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the Zidane player review, but before we get into it, I must apologise for not uploading for two days in a row. Basically, I was at the Fnatic headquarters coaching my guy DHTex, aka Fnatic Tex, for a qualifiers of the Club World Cup, which we did end up qualifying for, he went undefeated. So it's all good news, but I obviously missed the two days of uploading, so I had to apologise before we go into the video. But let's get straight into this six foot one baby Zidane. Now he has got 84 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, 91 passing, 81 physical. He is five star, five star. Now to to a cam, I suppose this guy is a cam. I I don't really want to use this guy centre mid as CDM. I can play him centre mid because he has got the stats. But I kind of want him to use it as a cam. So that 5 star weak foot is going to come into play very, very nicely. Because clearly he can pass a ball. Now the 5 star skills with a cam. Mm -mm -mm, it's going to look nice with them flip flaps. Now high medium work rate is my favourite work rate for a cam. It is so, it's so like nice because they kind of give you a passing option most of the time. 6 foot 1 though. I prefer my cams to be quite small, aka okay, yeah, five foot nine, five foot eight. But six foot one, I mean, I've gave I've gave six foot one cams a go before. So 91 acceleration with 88 sprint speed. This is obviously with an engine chemistry style on him. Obviously, he's on 10 chemistry. But that pace is very, very nice for a cam, I must say. You don't really see the cam be running a lot. But sometimes they do make them little cheeky runs in behind. Now, 84 finishing, 86 attacking positioning, 88 short power, 89 long shots, 86 volleys. This guy can actually finish. Now, the fact that a cam can finish without even adding a chemistry star on him is already nice. But if it gives, I mean, if it if he gets the opportunity to finish, maybe he'll finish it. You never know. But this guy does have 98 short passing, 98 long passing, 97 vision. 99 free kick accuracy. Hopefully we were using that today. But look at the passing stats. For a cam to have them passing stats are so important. Because you're going to look at them through balls going over the top. You're going to look at them passing plays between him and the striker and the other cams. So it's looking nice so far. Now he's dribbling stats. 82 agility. 95 balance. 95 reaction. 99 ball control. 99 dribbling. 86 composure. Now he's going to feel nice on the ball I feel like. But I feel like that agility maybe drag him down a little bit but hopefully he's very controlled of the ball saying that he has got 99 ball control very composed and just like can hold it off until he sees a run now he has got 85 interceptions with 83 heading accuracy now his standing tag was actually 78 so maybe you can use this card cdm it's gonna be a tough one you might have to use a shadow on him or something like that but i mean he looks it looks like he can play every position in the midfield i must say 88 stamina is always nice to have on a player team because if he's especially the cam he's going to be running up and down the pitch so you don't really want your player to be tired by like the 50 55th minute or 60th that guy like Zidane most likely will last the full 90 with 88 stamina 84 strength is amazing to have on a cam because they do kind of get into tackles and sometimes and obviously the 84 strength will help with 50 50s now this guy has 65 aggression that I do not like. That 65 aggression is going to probably make it, I wouldn't say slower, but I would say lose a bit more 50 50s. Like, if he had like 80 aggression at least, he'll be winning way more chances. Now, I am obviously using him around Suzuka, Mbappe, Rio, and Varane. You can use this guy obviously around anyone because he's simply an icon. Now, I will be using him in a 4 4 2 at centre mid. But I doubt he's going to probably, I doubt I like want to waste him there. I want to play him as a cam. So I'll be playing him 100% at 4-2-3-1 in the middle cam. And let's see what he can do. Go on Zidane. Jesus Christ, he feels fast. Oh, the agility. Did you see that? You see how agile he felt there with the little cheeky turns. Use that five-star skills, I guess. Oh, that passing play was nice. Very nice. Play it through the gap. What a ball. Can you just get there? No, he can't. But it was a beautiful ball from Zidane, I must say. Zidane, wide open. You can't be get living this. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe you can. That wasn't the greatest touch, I must admit. 
So Dan will find you. Five star weak foot. Oh my god, that's a ball. Oh my god. He has got finesse shot, right? Oh, it was a really weird animation. I've actually never seen that animation this year. Oh my god. Oh, I needed that pass to come off. Sedan, oh, I think he moved the keeper, it looked like, let's see this again. Did he move the keeper? Yeah, look, right there, he's signed to move the keeper. This Sedan card feels so nice, man. Full pelt in near post, oh, I need that finish to come off, man. I need it. He's getting into the occasions, but he's just not finishing the dinner. And I do feel like them angles do go in. Look how agile he feels, and you're telling me he doesn't feel agile? What? That is not like 82 agility, there's no way. Look how composed he is on the ball, man. It's crazy to see. What a turn. Oh, come on, man. Your finishing needs to be better. You've got the finesse shot, trait, which, uh, finesse shot trait, which I forgot to mention, and he's still not finishing these. Nice, really good interception. That's what you want your cam to do. And especially accelerate like this, I'll tell you right now. Oh my god. The hit that would be weak for. I understand it's five star. He has got the finish up trait, but the power he puts on that, it's incredible. I can shoot with his left foot, I can shoot with his right foot, and I must say. He feels so good on the ball, and I'm really enjoying actually playing with this card. Come on, win that 50-50. That's nice, to be fair. Really good turn. How? Okay, I didn't even do that skill move, but tell me how he still has that ball. Okay, I was very surprised he actually managed to get a pass off. I kind of did that a bit complicated. But we do have a free kick with him. And it is very, very far. Okay. Now, I don't really know how to take free kicks, I must say. But this is 34 yards out. Ah, uh, not the greatest, I guess. It's green. Oh. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I know, I know that, but... 34 yards out. I didn't really expect it to go in. Switch the ball. Beautiful pass. Oh, with the source of the touch. One more. To Suzu. Near post. Oh, it just took too long. That Mbappe pass to Zidane wasn't the greatest, I must admit. Little flick up. Zidane. Beautiful pass. Look at the space it gives Messi. So, Dan. Oh, my God. Look at the passing. Beautiful. Near post shot. Now, I'm, having, I'm actually struggling, struggling with his finishing right now, I must say. Like, the power shots are not the greatest. On the finesse, he has got the finesse shot trait, and it's a beautiful finesse. Top bins. I mean, I'm not struggling with his finesse shots, but his power shots are not great. And that could come down to, obviously, his shot power. I mean, his shot power isn't terrible, but I feel like it needs to be more into the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Zidane. Dan. Fake shot around the corner. Beautiful turn. So Dan, go forward. Back stick, if you can. It's a beautiful pass, if you can. Imagine doubting Zidane. It's a beautiful pass to the back stick, and I must say, I'm loving this card. So, it's time to review Zidane, and let me say straight off the back, wow. What a card this card is at cam. It's literally, I personally think, one of the best cams I've actually used this year. There's no doubt, but he is worth 2.5 million. And 
if you're paying that amount, amount of coins, I'm expecting an amazing player. I'm expecting a guy that's better than the, than the Bruin that's actually going for like 800k. I think he's 94 in form is going for. I'm expecting a player that could be the best cam in their game. Now, he has got 84 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, 91 passing, 81 physical. His passing was amazing. He actually felt really, really nice on the ball with that set. That was sorry, with that 82 agility, I didn't think, you know, he's going to be crazy on the ball. He's not going to feel amazing. But god damn, what I saw from this card is insane. Now, this card is 5 star, 5 star, which is amazing to have as a cam because you can pass with your left foot you can pass with your right foot you can do your skill moves in the occasions if you are in it it's always nice to have that five star five star now him being six for one is a huge plus as well because when he drops back to into when he drops back onto defense him being six for one pretty much enables him to intercept balls at reaches that you know some like five eight five for nine players wouldn't be able to. Now his high medium work rate, I personally think is perfect because he kind of works in areas that you know he can support you as much, and he does his defensive work as well. Now his pace, god damn his pace, his pace was crazy. He was fast as hell. Which I expected, but I didn't expect it to be that good. Now, he's finishing wise. I must say, this guy has finesse shot trait. And his finesse shots. So, his finesse shots was going in left, right, center. Now, his power shots. That was a whole different story. I was struggling with his power shots, which was not always nice to see. But it also comes down to him not having the outside foot trait. Basically, what the outside foot trait allows a person to do is get into an animation where it's like. It's, I wouldn't say near impossible to the keeper to save, but if you get into the right position with the outside foot trait, yes, it's literally impossible to save it. Now, with that 88 shot of power, I thought it wasn't going to be a, that big of a deal, but it actually was. He was missing like clear-cut chances with the power shot near pose, which should be going in. And I kind of was struggling with that, but every time I finish shot with it, I must say that ball was going straight into the back of the net and it was going, it was going in with some power. Now, he's passing. I can't really complain. He was one of the best passers I've probably ever seen. And I'm going to say it, he is a better passer than Kevin De Bruyne. Which practically makes him probably the best cam in the game. Just saying. Just saying. But for 2.5 mil, you expect it, let's be fair. Now, that vision is amazing. The passing, the long passing, the short passing. You could do one twos of him. He feels agile. He feels crazy on the ball. But that comes into dribbling. Agile, yes. Balance there, yes. Reactions, beautiful. His reactions was really, really nice to see. Now, ball control. This was very weird to see. 99 ball control. Oh, why are you lying for? Like, I didn't, sometimes the ball was going a bit further than it needed to be. That's all I'm going to say about that. But his interceptions, I saw him do AI interceptions. That was really nice to see. Him being 6 for 1 obviously extends the reach. So he's going to come back on defense. Now, Standing tackle. The thing of having a cam with that good of a standing tackle is that the fact is, if you do in get into the position of him obviously actually tackling, you're most likely going to win the ball. And if you don't, you have a, I would say you have a higher chance th than the person that lost it of you winning it, if that makes sense. Now, ATS stamina is always nice to have as a cam because obviously you're running up and down the pitch with him. So he's going to need that stamina, especially with that pace that he has, which I did see he didn't die during his games. So I liked it a lot. Now his strength. His strength pretty much gives him a 50-50 chances more often, but 84 strength I feel like was nice. He was bodying players there front and centre. He was keeping composed on the ball, so he kind of shielded them off, which is always nice to see. But I must say, his aggression. His aggression was, I want to say, was amazing. But I would not say it was terrible. He showed fight. He showed that he can fight for the club and stuff. And that's always nice to see. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. And this is probably one of the best player, player reviews, like content-wise, that I've ever done, I must admit. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. 100%. I had no doubts with this card. This card is crazy. With an engine chemistry star on him, he's crazy. Now... I'm going to need that power shot to be improved. That's why I was thinking of giving him a 9 out of 10. But showing how overpowered his finesse shots are, I feel like if you're going to get the opportunity, don't power it. 
just use the finesse shot and it will most likely go in because these finesse shots are kind of a, like a power finesse. So it kind of acts like a near post power shot in a way. But if you guys did enjoy this play review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.